Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. If this is your first time to my channel, then welcome. I love making cruelty-free makeup, skincare, lifestyle kind of videos for you with a twist of mental health focus as well. Today's video is going to be all about a Lush haul. I have never done a Lush haul. This is my first on-camera Lush haul, so if you'd like to see what I picked up, then please keep on watching. The first item that I picked up from Lush is the Olive Branch Shower Gel. It smells amazing makes my skin super baby soft in the shower and it pairs up with my body moisturizer that I always use so it doesn't have like a competing scent most of the lush shower gels aren't really going to linger heavily on the skin so if you use one shower gel and want to use a different smelly moisturizer or scrub or anything of that kind it's not really gonna compete that much because it's not on your skin for that long I think about face cleanser that way too you know you want like your products doing the most the ones that are staying on the skin and it needed replenishing another product that is definitely a shower staple is a body scrub and this is the lush ocean salt and I've actually never tried ocean salt but this is the self-preserving formula which basically just means that there are less synthetic products in it it relies on the ingredients in it and this also is vegan the self-preserving formula is the regular regular one has lanolin in it and this one uses silken tofu but this is basically just your powerhouse salt scrub for the face and body. I wouldn't dare to put this on my face just because I have you know combo dry skin so this would like rip my face to shreds. We all need to exfoliate and I've been meaning to try this so not that deep but I thought I would tell you I picked up ocean salt. I have also used rub 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 by Lush and I love that. I just felt like trying something new. The last shower item is going to be Rose Argan body conditioner. This is one of my very favorite products from Lush. It's kind of a staple for me year round, although in the winter I can't imagine taking a shower without topping up my skin with this. I have very dry body skin and I really am a layer of moisture kind of person, so I don't want I don't want anything that I put on my body to be very stripping. I just want to, you know, keep it clean and keep it soft and moisturized. The way that I use the body conditioner is kind of like how you use a hair conditioner. After, you know, using your shampoo or your body wash, you apply conditioner. Let it sit, then rinse it off. That's what I do with this guy. It's amazing. It's got argan oil and kapwasu butter and goji berry juice. It genuinely is so lovely and I'm not like a sweet rosy kind of scent person usually I kind of stay away from those because they can just they just bug me I'm not a sweet kind of candy person but man does this stuff smell good the body conditioner is full of creamy butters a sweet fruity rose perfume for silky skin so this is a staple it keeps my skin nice and soft and beautiful keeps my tattoos looking nice and bright uh, definitely go check it out get a sample it's the bomb. I'm gonna move into bath and I've got my little sachets here. First item is going to be the turtle jelly bomb. If you've never tried a jelly bomb, they basically have lots of carrageenan in it, which is made from seaweed and it makes the water really soft and lovely, but it also gives it like this jelly creamy consistency, which I'm not 100% sold on. Some people absolutely love it. I am just not the person that like wants to play with like or enjoy a jelly texture in their bath but I found that if you hold this under the water almost like you would a bubble bar from Lush you get the same effect as a regular bath bomb without all of that jelly kind of goopy texture I'm not trying to not sell you on the jelly it's just a little too thick of a bath for me I like the bath water to be quite watery and thin and this definitely thickens it up it does offer more moisture because of that but i don't know i would rather just hop in with moisture after it's totally a personal thing but i thought i'd try out the turtle jelly bomb because it's got all of that softening seaweed as well as some herbal essential oils and um, definitely some neroli in here which I love. These next two I will probably like take a little video of me using together and I think I want to treat myself to a bath after I film this.
So I have two items for that. I have the Metamorphosis Bath Bomb. It is a slightly lighter gray than my background right now, but this is a really beautiful, spicy kind of cinnamon and clove and a little bit of peppermint scented bath bomb. It is a beautiful color show as hopefully you will see here um, in the video, but I just want something warm and cozy and comforting and spicy smelling because that is one of my very favorite things. And then to pair up with Metamorphosis Bath Bomb, I have Blue Skies and Fluffy White Clouds Bubble Bar and you can break these apart. I am probably gonna use I, I hear people all the time say that they split up like comforter into four pieces. I'm probably gonna break this in half just because I want like some nice juicy bubbles in my bath, but you absolutely can break it smaller. It's just to your preference, but I know people who use a whole, a whole one of these in a bath and honestly more power to you. I'm, I'm trying to stretch my coins a little bit more than that, but absolutely beautiful. It has like kind of a woodsy smell to it. It has um, frankincense essential oil in it and will pair beautifully with Metamorphosis. So probably going to make the coziest bath ever and I'm gonna light a candle, really get into my zone and hopefully, you know, make some of my cramps go away. But this next product is something that I have absolutely purchased before and I don't know why I went so long without repurchasing and it is the Aroma Water Toner. This is a rose water toner and it is very, very beautiful, amazing scent. Uh, hydrating rose and lavender toner that soothes the skin and calms the mind. If I could douse my face in this all day long, especially in the summer, it would be incredible. And the last product is the Body Spray by Lush in the scent of Dad's Garden Lemon Tree. What I absolutely love about this spray, I already spritzed this just a little bit. I have pets. I never want my home to smell like I have pets. I'm sure if you are a pet owner of any variety, you can understand that. As much as like lemon and fresh, you know, cut grass or anything like that aren't really like up my alley scent wise, I want my home to smell clean and fresh and beautiful. And room sprays, like Lysol makes room sprays. This isn't necessarily to like prevent bacteria or something. I have other things for that, but this is definitely a beautiful room spray. It keeps my house smelling and nice and fresh and just not so like musty or you know stale. I like things to smell nice and clean and fresh. So every time I like fold up blankets, give pillows a zhuzh, uh, anytime my cats are particularly wild, I'll just give a light spray around. This is also great in kitchens after you clean up just to give you like that lemony, clean, citrusy scent. So that was my haul from Lush. Please comment down below if you are a Lushy or if you've picked up anything that you love recently, please let me know as always. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, which I hope you did. And you can follow all of my social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because I am going to get back to my regular uploads, that I promise. I hope y'all are having a great day and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye.